the question number paper number six in part A. Question number one. A train travels with uniform velocity u. Certain day due to repairs to the track, it retards with uniform retardation if and comes to rest. Immediately after coming to rest, train moves with uniform acceleration to if and up as again the velocity u. By using a velocity time graph, show that the delay of the train is 3u divided by 4 if. Right. Now I have drawn here on this particular day, usually suppose the train travels between the two stations P and suppose here between P and T. Right. On this particular day, train travels from P to Q with velocity u and Q to R with retardation f and R to f with acceleration to f and after that from S up to T as usually most with velocity u. Then uh, in a usual day, in a usual day, in a normal day, the train travels from P to T with the uniform velocity u. But in this particular day, the train can't move with its usual velocity u between q and s. So therefore, an extra time this train takes to travel from q to s than the usual day. So therefore, that extra time only, that delay on this particular day, the train takes. So then I have drawn the velocity time graph here from p to q motion of the train is given by this motion of the vt graph q to r motion train moves with retardation f here and thereafter r to s with acceleration to f so when we need to find the extra time you can very clearly understand the way of finding extra time. First of all, we find on this particular day the time taken by the train to move from Q to S. Right. So then that can be found. The Q is right. Length we have to find, and that length you can very clearly understand given by Q to R length. Uh, the QR motion from Q to R, the motion is shown by the VT graph BC. Then, by this ABC triangle area, gives us the QR displacement. R to S motion of the train is given by CD motion of the VT graph. Therefore, CDE area gives what this r is length. Ah, then first we are going to calculate this ABC area and CDE area. Their total is the QS displacement. Then the time the train takes in a usual day can easily be calculated dividing this total area of ABC triangle and CDE triangle by the usual velocity of the train is u. Then q is displacement when we divide by u, we get the time taken by the train to move from q to s in a usual day. Right. Now, on this particular day, when you calculate the time it takes, the total time to travel from q to s is given by ac time plus ce time is the total time taken on this particular day that train and the train takes to move from Q to S. Now to find the delay on the particular day the time minus the usual day time is the delay. So that way we can very easily obtain this answer. Right. So
So now, if I go to the calculation, the retardation given as if therefore an alpha is if and the acceleration given as 2f then tan beta is 2f and beta is 2f. Right. Now, I can apply tan alpha ratio here. Right. Then tan alpha by the triangles ABC and CDE. Now we can write tan alpha. Tan alpha is u upon AC. Then AC time will take as T1. Tan alpha is F. Then if we plus u by ac then ac i take as t1 the time then t1 is u by f right. similarly tan beta you can write tan beta is that u divided by ce tan beta given as 2 f i will change time ce as t2 then t2 you can write u upon 2 f so therefore this time is u upon f, this time is u upon 2f. Yeah. Then the particular day, the time taken by the train to travel from q to s is the sum of this u upon f and u upon 2f. Right. Now we will calculate the total area of this ABC and CDE triangles, that total area use this QS displacement. In the usual area, QS displacement, the train travels with the velocity U, then usually time we can find. And then time on this, time on this particular area. You can write it on that as u by f plus u by 2f. Right. Now, I am going to consider secondly the a, b, c, and c, d, e area. a, b, c area plus c, d, e area. Now, half a, b, c area half. B is into perpendicular height, this is u by f. Perpendicular height is u and other triangle half, B is u upon 2f, height is u. Okay, then we can simplify this. Here we get u squared upon 2f and here we get u squared upon 4f. Right. So then I add that here. Right. So then here we get 2u squared minimum by both numerator and numerator by 2, 2u squared by 4f, 2u squared plus u squared is 3u squared. 3u squared divided by 4. If not. Right. Now the delay, uh, this uh, delay can be found. The particular day, the time taken to move from Q to S minus usual day, the time taken to move from Q to S. Usual day, the time taken to move from Q to S can easily be found. The Q to S uh, displacement only given by this. In a usual day, this Q to S journey of the train, uh, it continues the journey with the rest of you. Then the usual day time, hmm? usual day time the time taken. Uh, usually the train moves from Q to S with velocity U, then this displacement should be divided by paper U. Then we get U here. The one U can cancel down here, then we get 3U by 4F. Right. Now the delay we can find delay can be found, this is the time 
taken on a particular day. Usual time means this. The delay going to be this minus this. I am going to find the delay. The delay is there. For I can write the delay. Delay I can write this time. So when we add this, we get 3u by 2f coming here. 3u by 2f is the time on the usual day. When you take minimum by both numerator and numerator by 2, we get 2u divided by 2f. 2u plus u is 3u by 2f. And here we get minus 3u by 4f. When you simplify here, taking the common denominator as 4f, then here we get 6u minus 3u is 3u. 3u by 4f, the answer, the delay coming like that. Right. So that is how we take the first answer. figure depicts two children A, B of masses simple M and capital M, capital M greater than simple M, hanging from the ends of a light rope passing over a smooth fixed pulley. A is at rest relative to the rope and B ascends along the rope with uniform acceleration A relative to the rope show that the tension in the string is. Now, uh, in this case, when it is B, is not ascending along the rope up. Suppose B also hanging at this end of the string. Since this B has more weight, the B and the A, B moves downward, A moves upwards. Then I will take that acceleration as F. Then A moves upward with acceleration F. <coughs> B moves downward with acceleration F. Now while the system is moving like this, now the child B moving along the rope upward with an expression A that is relative to the rope. Relative to the rope means suppose on the rope uh, there is a fly. Now that fly notices B moves up along the rope with expression A. Then another fly on the earth notices this B will have an acceleration while the rope is moving downward with acceleration F, child B moves upward with acceleration simply, then the fly in the earth notices the acceleration of the child B downward direction F minus A. So then we can write acceleration of B relative to earth downward direction f minus c. Right. Now we can apply here now f minus c. Right. Now we can apply f equals in me for this capital A output b downward. Now we can apply f equals in me for this a upward direction we can write t is the force upward minus in me equals m times f number one. Right. Secondly, that B downward, we can write M G minus P equals M times F minus A number 2. Then by solving these two equations, you can find this T. Then to find this T, we have to eliminate this simple if. Hmm. Then by solving this 1 and 2, hmm, solving 
your students now, I think these two simple simultaneous equations you can be easily solve and uh, get the value of tangent t. Uh, solving 1 and 2, we get the answer t asking in the question as capital M M 2G plus K upon capital M plus simple M this answer comes. It's very simple question. Question number three. A rod AB of length 5A is placed in equilibrium in a smooth fixed hemisphere of radius 5A. The center of gravity G of the rod is such that AG equals to A. Find the inclination of the rod. Right. Now here the length of the rod AB 5A radius of the hemisphere also 5A. Therefore, this A O B triangle is an equilateral triangle. Therefore, interior angle is 60. So, therefore, this is 60. You also 60. And this A G length given as 2A. Now, I am going to take the angle that road makes with the horizontal as theta. This is theta. Here the angle 90. Then this length from here to here, the length, this length, you can write in two ways. One way is AG cos theta is this length. The other way is here when you consider this triangle A, O and this point. This is 5A, this whole angle is 60 plus theta. Then 5a cos 60 plus theta is again the same in this. That two lengths be equal. Right. Then you can write by the diagram. You can write a g cos theta, that means 2a cos theta equals 5a cos 60 plus theta. 5a cos 60 plus theta. So then this A and this A you can cancel down. <coughs> now I can write 2 cos theta equals 5 times. When we expand this cos 60 plus theta, we get cos 60 cos theta minus sin 60 sin theta. Then we will divide this through what by cos theta then here we have 2 mean time to the record then cos 6 is half divided by cos theta that cancel off here 5 by 2 and minus 5 times sin 60 root 3 by 2 and here sin divided by cos theta is tan theta then you can bring this to this side 5 root 3 tan theta divided by 2 5 minus 2 minus 2. Then we get here 5 by 2 is 2.5 minus 2 is there we get half. And here we have 5 root 3 by 2 tan theta. This 2 and this 2 can cancel down. And we get theta tan inverse. We get what we call 1 upon 5 root 3. No? is the inclination of the rod to the horizontal.